everybody, it is Julie from Pages and Pens and I am here with a book tag video. Today we're going to do the Netflix book tag. Honestly, I don't know where this is gonna go. We're just gonna go on this journey together and see what kind of answers I can come up with. I'm gonna be looking down to read these questions because I don't know them and I have not prepared. That's the kind of day we're having. Number one is recently watched the last book that I finished. And for that, I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I finally read a Lainey Taylor book, guys, and it was so good. I loved her writing style. I was really nervous about it. I thought it was gonna be really prosy and too much like Tahara Mafi and Shatter Me, but it wasn't. It was gorgeous and I loved the world. I loved the characters. I'm excited to know more. I have all of the books already. I have the whole trilogy. So I will be going into the next book ASAP, but this was so much fun. I'm so glad I read this. It's really good. Top picks, a book or books that have been recommended to you based on books I previously read. The only thing that I can think of for that is the continuation of the Mistborn series. Everybody, when I finished the Mistborn series, said that I had to continue reading the rest of the trilogy and that they really liked it, as well as a lot of his other works. And I know that recently Brandon Sanderson has come underneath a lot of scrutiny and serious crosshairs, all the controversy. I have not done my due diligence yet. I have not looked into it enough. I'm still going to read these. I still appreciate his writing. I'm not vetoing him as an author. I'm just not, but I can appreciate the upset. But for right now, I'm not getting involved in it. So I will be reading this. And number three is the last book I bought. And that is this gorgeous book. This is Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I cannot wait to read this. This is the, I think the finale of a duology, the Monsters of Verity series. This one started with the Savage Song and ends, I believe, with this. I think this is the end of it. I cannot wait for this book. The first book was so gorgeous. I really, really loved it. So this one is one that I'm very highly anticipating and it's the last one that I bought. Popular on Netflix, a book that everybody knows about, two that I've read and two I haven't read or have no interest in reading. Two that I have not read are the Half Bad series and the Winner's Curse series. I have the first two books of this series and the first book of this series. I want to at least see if I like them, but I have not read them yet. Two that everybody talks about, anything by Sarah J Maas, and yes, I've read them all, and then Cassandra Clare, anything by Cassandra Clare, and I've read everything except for Lord of Shadows. Those are most popular, I would say, and I've read them all. Number five is comedies, a funny book. I don't read funny books. I'm a very like emotional heavy reader or high fantasy reader. I don't really read funny books, so I don't have one for this. Dramas, a character that is a drama king or queen. I hate Mara Dyer. Have I mentioned that recently? Animated, a book with cartoons on the cover. And for that, I have Return to the Labyrinth by Jim Henson, but this is a story by Jake T. Forbes, art by Chris Lee, Chris Lai, and cover art by Caillou Poi Shuri. Um, I have volumes one, two, and three. I want to get the fourth one. I haven't gotten it yet, but this is manga that centers around the labyrinth, but it's Toby when Toby goes back to become the Goblin King, and it's amazing because it's the labyrinth. It's not amazing, but it's amazing because it's labyrinth. But watch it again, a book or series that I want to reread. You guys know that I do want to reread Harry Potter at some point, but I haven't yet this year. But in the meantime, I am working on rereading the Wicked Lovely series. This one is Radiant Shadows, and I think this is book four. I hope it's book four. I don't know. I need to read the rest of these. And it's a Faye series, and they're completely unbelievable and completely ridiculous, but I love them so much. So I will be reading these. Then we have a documentary, a nonfiction that I recommend to everybody. I've read a lot of nonfiction this year. For that, I'm going to pick Felicia Day's You're Never Weird on the Internet almost. It's just so sweet. I think that it's a great nod to smart women, to feminism, to nerd psychology, to nerd life and fandoms. It was really cute and I loved her voice. I loved her narration. I would recommend the audiobook, but I really enjoyed that book, so give that one a try. Action and adventure, an action-packed book. And for that, I'm going to go with the Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom duology. I loved that series. Also, I could say Mistborn. I really liked that too, as far as action-packed. I'm not going to get them down. You guys know what Six of Crows looks like. If you don't, you can go to Goodreads and figure it out. 
I understand it adds to my production value to put up the picture, but you know what Six of Crows looks like, right? We can all agree, you know what Six of Crows looks like, so I'm not putting it up. Next one was a new release that just came out or is coming out soon that I can't wait to read, The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, whose cover I will put up because not everybody has seen it and it's gorgeous. So this is that. That is a set of fairy tales that takes place in the Grisha universe. And I love the Grisha universe. I love Lee Bardugo. I love her writing. I can't wait for this. It's gorgeous. Like the cover is everything. I've already pre-ordered it and I cannot wait to read it. Continue watching a book that I am currently reading. And for that, it's out in my car, but it's Akawar. But I do have this. Don't read it with the dust jacket on it. So I have this. This is what I'm currently reading. I have about 300 pages left of this book and we'll see how the end of it goes. Number 13 is Children and Family, a children's or middle grade book. I will say furthermore by Tahara Mafi, which I read this year in audiobook and it was so adorable. It was one of the cutest stories. I will put the cover art up because it's also gorgeous cover art. Number 14 is Canadian, a Canadian novel that I would recommend to Canadians. I have no blessed clue. I don't know who's a Canadian author and who isn't. I literally, I don't know. I don't know, I'm sorry. 15 is a classic, my absolute favorite classic novel. And for that, I'm going to say The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgkin Burnett. This is a gorgeous Barnes and Nobles edition with like the gold pages, the little ribbon bookmark. But The Secret Garden is a beautiful story that I loved when I was a kid and I reread it as an adult this past year. I just, I love it. So The Secret Garden for sure. The next two books that I plan to read. The next two books that I plan to read are all over the place right now. The Stage Dive series by Kylie Scott I want to read. They're already packed for my vacation. I also plan on reading the Finding Fate, I think, trilogy, the Cahill Witch Sisters trilogy. I also want to read Days of Blood and Starlight and continue the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. So 17, and that is to tag some people. You guys know how I feel about tag anxiety. I never know who's done these and who hasn't. In the last couple of videos, I have ended up tagging people in the description box or audibly in the video. This time around, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not tagging anybody, but if you want to do this video and you're seeing it for the first time on my channel or I've just made you remember that it exists, go ahead and do this. I was tagged though, however, by Isabel and Books. So thank you to Isabel and Books for tagging me in this. The originator was Whitney from A Darker Shade of Whitney. I will have her link down below. I will also have Isabel and Books listed down below. And then if you want to do this video, please do. It was a fun one. So that's been everything for the Netflix book tag. But in the meantime, if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.